Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create simple dust cloud after jump effect. So when character hits the ground, a dust cloud appears under his feet. Let's create our project from the scratch, so you can see how it's done. As we will use a particle system for our dust clouds, so let's create a material first. Create new material and rename it as dust cloud material. Set its shader mode as particle alpha blended. Drag and drop cloud sprite into particle texture field. Now we have cloud material for our particle system. Create new particle system game object and let's tweak its option to create our dust cloud effect. Start lifetime will be 0.5, start speed will be random value between 2 and 3, start size will be 2, start color alpha channel value will be 180. Emission section. Rate over time will be 0 and create one new burst event. Set count as 5. Shape section. Shape is cone, angle is 21, radius is 0.5, arc will be 150. Next section will be color over lifetime. Check it. And set end alpha channel's value as 0. Next section is size over lifetime. Check it and select curve from 0 to 1. Next let's set rotation over lifetime. It will be random value from negative 180 to positive 180. Last section is renderer 1. Here we need to replace default material with one that we created. Drag and drop dust cloud material into material slot. Now our particle system emits clouds. Finally let's set order and layer option to 10 so our effect will be rendered in front of the other game objects. Rename our particle system as Dust Cloud. To keep sync quite clear, let's add a destroy method to Dust Cloud effect, so it will be destroyed in one second after spawning. Add this script to Dust Cloud. Drag and drop Dust Cloud into project folder to create a prefab of it. Remove Dust Cloud from hierarchy. Our cloud effect is done. Now let's create a ground. Add Brick Sprite to the scene, add Box Collider to to it, and add a rigid body to the component. Set it as kinematic and set collision detection to continuous. Ground needs a tag to be recognized. Create new tag. Name it as ground. And assign this tag to brick game object. Now let's create a character. Add cat sprite to the scene. Make it a bit smaller. Add circle collider to the component to it, so it can walk on the ground. Also, cat needs a rigid body to the component. Add one, set gravity scale to two, collision detection to continuous, and freeze the rotation. Cat needs a script to walk and jump. Here it is quite simple one. Add this script to cat. I make cat a bit darker, so cloud effect will be more noticeable. Ok, now right click on cat and create new empty game object. It will be cat's child and I name it as ground check. This game object will be detecting when cat lands after jump. Let's add an icon to this game object to see it's better and position it right under the cat's circle collider. And let's add the circle collider to ground check game object which will be a trigger. Make it a bit smaller. Ground check will use a script to spawn dust cloud effect when cat lands. Here is a reference to dust cloud that will be assigned in inspector. And if ground check collides with ground, then dust cloud is instantiated at ground check position with dust cloud rotation. Add this script to ground check game object. Select ground check and drag and drop dust cloud prefab into its slot at ground check script. That's it. Now we can hit play and see how it works. Cat jumps and dust cloud appears as cat lands. Hope you like this tutorial, thank you for watching, see you next time.